Hello and welcome back. Let's continue with our expense tracker project. And in this lecture, we are going to create a list which will store all the expenses which the user has created. So let's go to VS Code. And here, instead of logging the expense object, which we are creating here using this expense class, we want to store it in a list. For that, we are going to create a list. But before that, what I also want to do here is, I want to make this current ID, which is a static property, a private property so that it cannot be accessed outside of this expense class because we want to use this current ID property only inside this class when we want to assign a new value to this ID property. So here I'm going to make it as private. Okay. And then this ID property also, I'm going to make it as read only because we are going to assign a value to this ID property whenever an instance of this expense class is created so that we are doing it inside this constructor and what we are assigning to this id property we are incrementing the value of current id and we are assigning that value to this id property now this id property value should not be changed outside of this expense class okay but we might want to access it from outside of this expense class so I'm not going to make this ID property private because we might want to use this ID property outside of this expense class. But what I'll do is I'll make it read only so that this property can be only read. It cannot be changed. Okay. With this, let's save the changes. Next, let's go ahead and let's create a variable here. Expense items and it is going to be of type array of expense objects and initially let me assign an empty array to it okay and inside this expense items we are going to store all the expense objects which the user has created so every time when this button will be clicked after the user has entered some value in these form elements what we want is we are creating an expense object and we want to add that expense object in this expense items array so for that we'll say expense items dot push and we want to push the expense object so now let me go ahead and let me log this expense items here let's save the changes let's open developer console and let's add some expenses so you see an array has been logged and in that we have one expense object let's create another expense again if i click on this expense object you see another array has been logged and in there we have two expenses so in this way whatever expense the user will create we are storing it in a list and now in order to display all the expenses in the UI, we are going to loop over this list and then we will display each expense object in the UI. Let's do that in our next lecture. This is all from this lecture. Thank you for listening and have a great day.